Hey there, what's going on everybody? This is Noble and today I'm going to be sharing with you my Orcus deck profile. So I did this one a while ago, uh, but I wanted to update it. It looks a lot different now, especially with this bad boy off of the ban list. You know, Phantom Knight's giving Orcus a boost is really, really cool and exciting for those of you who love Orcus, uh, which I do. Uh, this is a pre-Phantom Rage, so this is not like I'm not throwing in the crazy stuff from Phantom Rage because I don't have all that stuff in yet. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm really excited about this. I love Orcus. So without further ado, guys, don't forget to uh, subscribe if you're here and you haven't already done so. I, it literally made my day. Like, I'm not kidding about that. Uh, and then also give this video a thumbs up if you like it because it allows my stuff to circulate around and I'm a small YouTuber. So that's really, really important. Uh, but yeah, guys, let's get into this. All right. So to kick this off, we're playing Triple Gear Suit, the Orcus Mech Knight. This card is still absolutely phenomenal and just looks so dang beautiful. So what this card does is if this card is normal or special summon, you can send one Orcus or World Legacy card from your deck to the graveyard. Then if there are two or more other cards in this card's column, treat this card as a tuner this turn. If you control no other monsters, you can special summon one World Legacy token, machine, it's a dark level one attack defense zero, to both players field and defense position, which is awesome for Mech Knights. Uh, and you can only use each effect of Gear Suit the Orcus Mech Knight once per turn. So this card is a really beautiful and awesome uh, starter for the deck. I do recommend you running this at three. Uh, next up, I'm running one Brass Bombard. I, I still keep in the one Brass Bombard. I do like this card a lot. Where it, What it does is you can banish this card from your graveyard. And then you special summon an Orcus monster from your hand and set another copy of this card. Uh, but then you're locked into special summoning uh, dark monsters for the rest of the turn. So do keep that in mind. It's not really a big deal because we play a massive majority of dark monsters anyway. Uh, and you can only use this effect once per turn. I'm also opting to play the double uh, symbol skeleton where you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one Orcus monster in your graveyard, except another copy of this card, special summon it, and then guess what? You're locked into special summoning dark monsters for the rest of the turn. Uh, running double Orcus Nightmare. Uh, this card is, I really love this card. You can, I can't be destroyed by battle with a link monster. You can special summon this card from your graveyard. Then target one face up monster on the field. You cannot special summon monsters except dark monsters for the rest of this turn. Also, send a dark monster from your deck to the graveyard, except another copy of this card. And then if you do all of that, the targeted monster gains attack equal to the level of the monster sent in the graveyard times 100. Until the end of this turn, you can only use this effect once per turn. Still playing the double uh, World Legacy World Wand. Uh, what this one does is uh, the normal summon set card can't be destroyed by battle with a monster special summon from the extra deck, which who really cares about that. If this card is sent in the graveyard, you can special summon a World Legacy monster from your hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard and target one of your banished Orcus monsters, special summon it, and you can't special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except dark monsters. Uh, but it is really cool and helpful being able to special summon one of your banished Orcus monsters because you do banish quite a bit. Also running one Gizmic Orochi, the Surf and Tron Sky Slasher. Uh, this one's, I'm so excited this card is an ultra right now. I was like, what, like a buck 50 or two bucks a piece now, unless it's gone up in the past week or so. Uh, but this card is awesome. Like I really love, I play this card in a lot of decks um, because it's just really cool. It has an effect where if this card is in your hand or graveyard, quick effect, you can banish eight cards from the top of your deck face down, especially some of this card, which, me personally banishing stuff face down from the top of my deck hurts my heart. I don't like doing that unless I absolutely have to, but it's cool to get this boss monster out in the field and it's a quick effect too. And then you can also banish three cards from your extra deck face down, then target one face up monster in the field and destroy it. You can only use one effect per turn and only once that turn. So uh, this card is really helpful and the ultra rare version is like <laughs> $2 or something like that. Like So it is really cool. Uh, I do recommend you running one of these as well. Running triple of the Scrap Recycler uh, and then one Scrap Golem. So Scrap Recycler is cool because when this card is normal or special summon, you can send a Machine Monster from your deck to the graveyard. Once per turn, you can shuffle two level four Earth Monsters from your graveyard into the deck and then draw a card. And the Scrap Golem says that once per turn, you can target a level four lower Scrap Monster in your graveyard to special summon that target to either player's field. Running one Dark Greffer and then also one Armageddon Knight. What Dark Greffer says is you can special summon this card from your hand by discarding a level 5 or higher Dark Monster. And then once per turn, you can discard one Dark Monster, send a Dark Monster from your deck to the graveyard, which is just sending a lot of things to the graveyard, pretty much. Uh, when the, and then what Armageddon Knight reads is when this card is summoned, you can send a Dark Monster from your deck to the graveyard. I mean, really simple. 
Here's where things are mixed up a little bit. Um, I'm running uh, one of the Christian Ro Rosenix, I believe is how you say it. Uh, you can target a face-up card you control. You can't special monsters from the extra deck risk turn set machine type synchros and then destroy that card. And if you do special summon a Christian tuner from your deck, which who cares? Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon a Christian token machine type water level one attack, defense zero defense. Uh, but it can't be attributed. You can only use one Christian Rose Rosenix once per turn and only once that turn. And also playing triple of the, I don't know how to say, Caligo Claw Crow, which I, I paid like 12 bucks for a place of this thing. And then like two days later, it got a gold lettering reprint uh, now. So I was like, oh, cool. Uh, but if you control a dark monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only use special summon this card once per turn this way. I mean, pretty simple effect, but it does help out quite a bit. And then lastly, just running double of the Silent Boots and then also uh, double of the Ancient Cloak. Uh, if you wanted to run hand traps, you could absolutely make room. This is kind of a thick monster count. Um, I just I didn't do it. I didn't really want to make the room for it. I kind of like the synergy that this deck, particular deck has. I didn't really want to mess with that. But if you do want to do that, you can absolutely do that. That wouldn't be a problem. So for the spells, I'm running triple of Dark Ruler No More. Uh, <laughs> Orcus just have a problem with breaking boards. Like, <laughs> um, if your opponent already has a board set up, the combos are... They're just kind of fragile. Like they're better now, but they're still too a little bit too fragile for my taste. So being able to just stop, you know, our opponent's entire monster board if they don't have, you know, an answer to this, is really helpful. And it, and it definitely eases my mind if I draw into this card as well. I'm also running triple Allure of Darkness uh, because we're playing just a freaking crap ton of dark monsters. So this is just like free draw power pretty much. Also running triple orchestrated return. Now, if you wanted to bump orchestrated return down to two, you could do that. Um, but I really like this card. It, you send an Orcus or War Legacy monster from your hand or face it, fill the graveyard. And you draw two and you only activate one per turn. Like that's what this card says. It's like a built-in pot of greed for Orcus and a War Legacy stuff. But this is a really cool card. It helps out a lot. Like I said, if you wanted to bump this one down and make room for something else, that's fine. I'm also running one orchestrated babble uh, field spell for orcus you can activate the effects of orcus monsters in your graveyard or of linked monsters you control of orcus in their original names as quick effects which is freaking amazing uh, during your main phase of this card is in your graveyard set the turn it was sent in the graveyard you can send a card from your hand to the graveyard and then add this card back to your hand so it does have some self graveyard recursion which is awesome uh one world legacy succession this card reads you target a monster in your graveyard special summon it to a zone a link monster points to you can only activate one world legacy succession per turn uh one monster reborn because it's just a great card and then also one foolish burial and then for the orcus i just because we're playing orcus i did want to play one crescendo crescendo is really awesome when a spell a trap card or monster effect is activated while you control an orcus link monster negate the activation if you do that banish that card uh, then you can banish this card from your graveyard add to your hand one of your dark machine monsters that is banished or in your deck you cannot special on monsters the turn you activate this effect except dark machine monsters you only activate one orcus crescendo effect per turn and only once that turn uh, and then lastly i'm running one the phantom knights rank up magic launch i'm playing this because it can really turbo out vfd uh, or true king of all calamities which is sickening to hate that card, but it, you can do it in this deck, so might as well run it. I'm also running one uh, Phantom Knights of Shade, however the heck you say that, and then also double Fog Blade. So that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get into the extra deck. So for the extra deck, I'm running one Link Karibo. Link Karibo is just a really awesome card. I love it. If you don't want to play this, that's fine. You can make room for something else. Uh, one All Mirage as well. I really like All Mirage a lot, just that quick effect protection ability pretty much is really handy uh, if you don't get an ideal hand or if you just want to protect something. I'm also running double, because this is an Orcus deck, double Galatea, the Orcus Automaton. Uh, what this one does is a link to two effect monsters, including an Orcus monster. Uh, this link card cannot be destroyed by battle. You cannot target, excuse me, you can target one of your banished machine monsters, shuffle into the deck. Then you can set an Orcus spell and trap card directly from your deck and you only use this effect per turn. So it's cool because you can basically grab Crescendo straight from the deck and set it and have an Omnigate, which is really handy. I'm also running one Scrap Wolverin as well as one Lib, the World Key Blade Master. I really like Lib a lot because uh, it can only be linked to someone while you have a World Legacy card in your graveyard. And you can only use each of the following effects of Lib, the World Key Blade Master per turn, once per turn. 
Uh, during your main phase, you can set a World Legacy spell or trap card directly from your deck, but it cannot be activated this turn while you have no World Legacy monster in your graveyard, which is not going to be a problem for the most part. If this Link Summon card is sent to the graveyard as Link material, you can shuffle one card on the field to the deck, and I really like that because when this card is linked off uh, for something else, it has a non-targeting, non-destruction removal, which is really helpful because you're basically getting to something else that's something bigger, and then you, have to, you also get rid of a problematic card on your opponent's side of the field. And then lastly for the Link 2, I'm just wanting one IP Mascarena. So running one Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardish. So, you know, this is just freaking awesome. Two plus dark monsters. During your main phase, you can send one Phantom Knights monster from your deck to the graveyard, then set a Phantom Knight spell and trap card directly from your deck to your spell and trap card zone. If a dark exceed monster is special summoned to a zone this card points to, while this monster is on the field except during the damage step, you can target a card on the field and destroy it. You can only use each effect of the Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardish per turn. Cannot be used as linked material. And then I'm also running one Nightmare Unicorn. Uh, I just really like the Nightmare. I just really like the IP Unicorn interaction if you need to do that. So that's why I'm running this. For the Link 4s, um, I'm running a top Topologic Zero Boros. I, this is a personal one. I really like this one a lot. If you wanted to substitute this, you could do that. I'm also running an Avermax. This card is freaking phenomenal and it's cheap as crap now. And this card can win you games. And then also an access code talker. Like I said before, I do understand access code is a very expensive card and it did not get reprinted like the Eldritch, the Goldie Boy did in the Gold series. So uh, if you don't have access to this, you can swap it out for maybe an Appaloosa or something. Appaloosa is like $10, which is, you know, I can't believe I'm saying that. But yeah, you don't have to have access code, but if you do have it, it's an awesome card and it does help out quite a bit. And then for the Exceeds, running double Dengirsu, the Orcus of the Evening Star. This card's freaking awesome. I love it. Two level eight monsters. You can only special summon Dengirsu, the Orcus of the Evening Star, once per turn. And you can also exceed some of this card by using an Orcus Link monster you control as material. If a card or cards you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can detach a material from this card instead. If this card is special summoned, you can activate one of two effects. You send a card from your opponent controls to the graveyard. So again, another non targeting non destruction removal. Or you can just grab one of your banished machine monsters and then attach it to him as material. And then also running a true king of all calamities because you can turbo this out with a phantom knight spell uh using this bad boy and i mean this card can just win you games by itself which is you know i'm not a personal fan of cards that say you can't play the game but might as well use it to our advantage while we can i guess um that might not be a healthy mindset if you don't want to play this <laughs> that's fine i understand you totally don't have to but yeah guys uh, that's it for the deck profile. I, I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, Orcus have always been uh, like one of my favorite ones to play. And just, you know, when I saw that uh, the good old Phantom Knight Blue Boy got off the ban list, I was like, hey, you know what? <laughs> let's uh, let's go see what, you know, what the Orcus is talking about now, especially with the addition of Gear Suit as well. Just kind of helping Turbo out. Uh, stuff so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you're here and you haven't already done so like i always say go ahead and subscribe i absolutely love that hit the bell so you become a part of the notification team so you don't miss anything that goes on on this channel and if you watch this video and you like to give it a thumbs up i'd absolutely love that and on top of making me happy it circulates my stuff around youtube which makes my channel grow which just hey makes me even happier so i really appreciate it, guys thanks for watching as always i'll see you in the next video